power rule is extremely important in taking the derivatives of polynomials. It says that the derivative of x to the n is equal to n times x to the n minus 1. Now here, n can be negative, n can be a fraction, n can be irrational, n can be any real number. So, what we do when we take the derivative of x to any power is you take the exponent, you move it in front, and then you subtract 1 from the exponent. Here's an example. If f of x is equal to x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1, let's find the derivative of f. Now for this, we're also going to use some of our properties of derivatives, which say that if we add a bunch of functions together, we can just split them up. So here, let's take the derivative of x cubed. By our power rule, we take the exponent, we move it in front, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent. So that becomes 2 minus the derivative of x squared becomes 2x to the first, but that's just 2x. The derivative of x, well think about x as having already a power of 1. We'll move that 1 in front, so that's plus 1, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent, so 1 becomes 0, and x to the 0 is just 1. So that goes away. And finally, we can use constant rule for the negative 1. The derivative of any constant is just 0. And so here is our derivative. Power rule makes taking the derivatives of polynomials extremely easy. We can even do these in our head. If f of x is equal to 6x squared minus 3x plus 2, let's find f prime of negative 1. Well, first we have to find f prime of x. Here we can use constant rule. We can pull this 6 out. Or, a better way of thinking about this is this 2 comes down in front and multiplies by the 6. So 2 times 6 is 12. And then we subtract 1 from the 2 and we get x. Now, negative 3x. The derivative of negative 3x, we take the 1, move it in front. 1 times negative 3 is just negative 3. And x to the 0 becomes 1. And the derivative of any constant is just 0. So here's the derivative of f. So, f prime of negative 1 is equal to negative 12 minus 3, which is negative 15. Find the normal line to y equals 3x cubed minus x at x equals 2. Well, there are two things that we need for a normal line. We need both a point and a slope. To find the point, we can just use the function value at 2. So here we have 2 comma, we'll plug it in. 2 cubed is 8 times 3 is 24 minus 2 is 22. Now we need a slope. To find the slope of the normal line, we take the negative reciprocal of the tangent line, which of course is just the derivative at x equals 2. So let's find y prime first. The, the derivative of 3x cubed is 9x squared, since 3 times 3 is 9, and we subtract 1 from the 3. The derivative of negative x, well, the 1 comes out in front, so that's just minus 1. And of course, x to the 0 just goes away. So y prime at x equals 2 is equal to 2 squared is 4 times 9 is 36 minus 1 is 35. And therefore, the slope of our normal line is the negative reciprocal of the derivative, which is negative 1 over 35. We've got a point. We've got a slope. We can use point-slope form. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1.